Good evening YouTube, what's going on? Air of Carthage here, and thanks to my sponsor MSI, I've got another Z370 motherboard to review for you. I recently just posted a video of the Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon AC, which is a performance level motherboard. And some of you may have seen that and been like, well Air, I don't think I can afford that. That's a lot of motherboard. Well that's part of the reason why I asked MSI to send me this motherboard. Let's say that you want to build your own 8th generation Intel computer and you want to do it on a budget. This is that board. This board may not necessarily be made or marketed by MSI for gaming, but it's definitely capable of it, and it's a great board for it. Now, MSI sells their motherboards in four categories, and I'll try and clear that for it, clarify that for you, and hopefully it makes sense, because there's a lot of motherboards to choose one, so what's the right one for you? Their Pro Series is more geared towards um, building a computer you can work on, or maybe light gaming. Um, so it's basically your entry level, no frills, all function kind of motherboard. The first level of gaming motherboard they make is called Arsenal Gaming. And they have cool military names like Tomahawk or Mortar. And all those boards are your entry level gaming boards that provide you some of those extra gaming features that you want to have. And also that nice looking aesthetic that goes along with a very eye-pleasing build. Um, when you move up into the performance gaming, that was our Gaming Pro Carbon AC. The performance gaming boards offer enhanced overclocking tool, even more speed, more power, more options, uh, more expansion ports, everything you can imagine. And then eventually you move up into the motherboard that's in the back of my computer over here, which is an enthusiast gaming. Enthusiast gaming includes all the insane stuff that crazy builders like myself insist that you have to have from a motherboard, and of course it's top line, top dollar. This is the opposite end of the spectrum. I want to show you this because many of you think that to have an awesome gaming computer you have to have something like I have. That's not true. Don't get me wrong. This thing is awesome. But you can build your own awesome gaming computer on a budget. And that's what the Z370A Pro is all about. Let's get into this thing. I'm going to unbox it, show you what it comes with, and show you all the basic features, and you'll see what you get. This motherboard runs right around $100, which for a Z370 chipset is pretty good. Um, you also, if you're not going to overclock, you don't necessarily have to have the Z370 chipset. Uh, there are others, like for instance in the last generation of Intel boards, you could get a Z270, which would have been the, the best chipset, does all the overclocking support, or you could have gone to a B250 chipset. Uh, and there was even others that are basically a way for you to get a cheaper motherboard and still be able to use that same generation of processors. But let's talk through the Z370 board here. And again, the nice thing about this is you get that Z370 chipset on a budget. All right, we're gonna jump into the unboxing here. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what comes in the box. Actually, I'm gonna spin it around because it's going this way. So here is our Z370A Pro MSI motherboard. If I can get it out, here it comes. Ta-da! All right, so you can see this is a, uh, a very clean, very nice looking motherboard in my opinion. Um, it's this brown color. Uh, I mean, the brown's not my favorite color, but again, this thing's on a budget. You still get this awesome steel armor on your PCIe slot. You've got four DIMM slots, so you can support up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is freaking awesome. You still get the Intel 1151 8th gen um, compatibility here. So again, i3, i5, i7, anything that's an 8th gen Intel processor. Um, you still have nice heat sinks here to help keep your board cool. Um, and you get all kinds of cool expansion plugs. So again, even though we're on a budget, we have two full length PCIe slots, four shorter slots. The cool thing about this board too that I noticed is it even comes still with at least four system fan headers and it's still got a CPU fan and pump fan, so you could still even do water cooling on something like this. So the level of features that they give you in a lower end board is really kind of mind boggling. And that's what makes this thing such a great value. And one of the reasons why I wanted to show it to you that again, you don't have to break the bank to build an awesome gaming computer. Uh, we still get two USB 3.0 headers. Yeah, so you have all these awesome features, again, in a budget level board. Just absolutely love this. Um, you still get a pretty good rear um, input out right so here's a good shot of the rear input output um, actually it's not a good shot there's a good shot of the rear input output uh, you can see we have the old school mouse keyboard type plug in which I don't remember what they're called you have a couple of USBs here and there's lots of USB 3.0 on the back of here which is a fantastic feature again on a on a board that's a lower cost you've got your display port uh, a DVI and a VGA or RGB whatever you want to call this one 
a uh, couple more uh, USB, your Ethernet, USB, and then your HD audio plugs over here. So really one of the main differences back here um, from like a higher end board, you don't see like an optical audio um, and there's a few more USBs, but I mean, otherwise, again, you get fantastic support. And remember, there's additional USB headers on the front of the board, which means that you can do external USB extensions as well, or possibly internal if you really wanted to. Uh, but yeah, so plenty of room for all of your case fans, your system fans, everything else you're going to need. So even on a budget, the Z370A uh, Pro delivers. What else do you get in the box? Now again, this is a more budget level, so you're not going to get all the fancy stuff like that you get in a, um, in a more expensive board. Here's your rear input output. Again, basic difference here is it's just not colored red and black. It's still functional, still does the job just as well. Here's your drivers. You still get a manual that walks you through all the features of your motherboard and how to install it and how to use it. And it comes with a couple of SATA cables so that you can plug in DVD drive or a hard drive and a solid state drive. So it comes with all the basic stuff you're going to need. And again, no frills, just gives you what you need so that you can get your build done and get to enjoying your new gaming computer. I'll jump back out of this into the um, uh, main shot and kind of finish this up. All right, so let's wrap things up for the Z370A Pro. Um, great motherboard on a budget if you want to bring yourself up to date. And honestly, the Intel 8th Gen is a great time to update. Um, honestly, there hasn't been a whole lot of big changes in Intel processors over the last several years. And if you're still rocking that third or maybe even fourth gen or some of even that second gen Intel processor, now might be the time to go. And this is a great way to do it on a budget. Um, and again, MSI has a lot of other great options for all levels. So this one is their Pro Series, but they also have that Arsenal Gaming, Performance Gaming, and like the one over here, our Enthusiast Gaming. So again, all the great features you need in a motherboard, uh, support for your fast graphics card, support for your Intel 8th Gen, VR, USB, uh, uh, lots of USB. It did not have a Type-C connector on the back of it, but if you purchase a case that comes with a front Type-C connector, you can still have Type-C. So that was one small disappointment here, but again, it's a budget board and probably really one of the only gripes I can throw at this board. Another thing to note, um, I've showed you some other fancy boards that have the uh, RGB Mystic Light from MSI. This board does not support a uh, Mystic or a uh, RGB header. Um, so you could do RGB lights, but they would have to be controlled um, from a separate controller and plugged directly into your power supply. So that's another thing to note here. Again, this is a no frills board, though it does have a white LED strip down this back side, which does look pretty cool when you plug it in. So honestly, for this board being cheap, it still comes across with a great clean build and clean aesthetics. And again, all those features, your M.2s, it's got support for M.2, it supports Intel Optane memory, it supports your DDR memory up to 4,000 megahertz on a budget board. That's right, you heard me right there. It's got MSI Click BIOS 5, so it can even support overclocking if you have an unlocked Intel chip. So a great board to get out there and put you together a budget build with that can help you do schoolwork and do your gaming or whatever else you need to do. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you to MSI for letting me review this. I've been really excited to show you a budget board because I want you all to know that for basically any budget, you can still build computers. You can enjoy this great hobby that I love. And I appreciate MSI being my sponsor and giving me the opportunity to do this hobby. You can see I'm an enthusiast. I love building computers. You can see mine over here. So this is a dream come true. And I really want you all to experience it too. That's why I talk about these, not because um, it's some kind of corporate shenanigan or something like that. It's because I love it. And I want you all to, uh, to have the same fun that I do and enjoy it. Anyway, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Also, check the description for links uh, to the spec sheets and the product pages for it. Air of Carthage signing out for now. I will see you soon.